everybody, welcome back to the brand new video as we continue our countdown, our top 40 countdown. Counting down the days until 2024 Tops Series 1 comes out. Today, on this Saturday, January 20th, it leaves us 26 days. So this is number 26 on my list of top products from 2023. We're doing all the top products, and we're going to start with this one right here. 2023 Tops update and it's only jumbo boxes for this video because i am not too happy with the hobby boxes this first box is for Vito. let's see if we can find for Vito. so the hobby boxes why am i not too thrilled to do hobby boxes for a video like this the hobby boxes they cut cards a bunch of cards actually about 30 percent with tops update so the hobby boxes i feel like aren't nearly as fun to open in a video as it would be for hobby boxes you get two silver packs you get a guaranteed autograph a guaranteed relic and a guaranteed manufacturer patch. So we're doing four of these. So a nice two-thirds of a case right here. Let's see what we can find. Now, the base checklist is kind of weak. There's the rookie debut cards that you'll see in there, like the Michael Harris's and the Riley Greens. Now, we've already focused extensively on Topps Update. We've done multiple videos about it. So we are going to focus primarily on the hits in this video. There is Adam Duvall, which will be numbered in Richard Blyer. A couple numbered cards for Vito. No hit in this first one. If you'd like to see all of the cards, you know, talked about in length with their designs, you can check out our preview videos. We always spend oh, good 30 minutes on like one box or so in those. So looking for the hits here, there's Jordan Walker. Who's just going to throw the base cards. So Vito has an idea of what's coming up. Typically, you get one of every single card. You can usually put together the entire set from a jumbo box. There's Kyle Farmer. That's why I really enjoy jumbos. 2024 tops. I heard that they might be cutting cards from jumbos. I hope that's not the case. I haven't looked at the, the stats yet. I know that it's... I, maybe that's just hearsay. I, I think it probably will be the same. 46 cards per box or per pack like it is in this. I know that it looks like they're just going to continue the cuts from update and just carry those over into 2024. There's a gold Vinny Pasquantino gold rookie card. Also, Dylan Dodd. No hits yet, oddly enough. Where's all the hits? By the way, it looks like the toner might need changed on some of these cards. They're a little bit faded on those particular cards. Now we're back to vibrant colors. All right, next pack up. No hits yet. Vito also has the silver packs, which could potentially save the day. Here we go with this next one. On this Saturday, typically on Saturdays, we do Saturday showdowns, patron-only live streams, but because of some plans tonight, we're going to have to push that off and postpone that till maybe during the week. There's Chase DeYoung, which is numbered 250. Not too bad. Father's Day. So getting some parallels, which is nice. A bunch of base cards here to wrap up that one and on to the next one for Vito. Still no autograph. Man, wouldn't that be crazy if they didn't put an autograph in this box? We did a, uh, did a couple series, two boxes. I think they were personal boxes and Patreon, on the Patreon live stream a couple weeks ago, and they forgot our autograph in both of them. I hope that's not the case here. We do have our first official hit. There's Tosca Hernandez and a nice Yoshida rainbow foil. It's going to be the manufactured patch of Johnny Bench. You get one of those. Some of you might start to miss those because you don't get the manufacturer patches anymore in the blaster boxes. They got rid of those with update and uh, replaced them with a bunch bunch of parallels, Halloween themed parallels, I guess. Because a lot of us said we don't really care much for these manufacturer patches. I was always saying, can you just reduce the price of the box by five bucks and just not give us the manufactured? I guess what they're doing instead is giving you the uh, giving you more parallels. There's Francisco. Or not Francisco, Ruggie Odor, along with Patrick Bailey, gold rookie card. That's a decent card right there, Patrick Bailey. Catcher of the future for San Francisco. Still looking for the autograph. These boxes, when they first came out, I think they were just around 200, maybe a little under 200. They've come down a bit since then. I think now you can get these for like 139 a box. As, like I said, the checklist for update is extremely weak. It's not a big, massive rookie to chase after. Nick Fortes, along with a foil card. And more base cards here. Three more packs to find our relic and our autograph for Vito. And then you also have those silver packs, which can get you something extra. Love the silver packs. 
That's one of the best things about the flagship. This is the first that any flagship product has popped up on the list. I've got update in last place out of the big three. The big three of the main flagship releases, there's a Volpe Black Gold card. I guess we'll sleeve that one up for Vito. Series one, series two, and update. I've got update in last. We'll have to see where I place series one and series two on that list. They'll be coming up soon. Where's all of the autographs? Here we go, Blake Sable, finally. I was like, we're gonna even get an autograph, one auto per box. It is a red, very nice, a red, should be number 25. Number nine of 25, Blake Sable for Vito. So a nice rookie red parallel auto. And that means that pack, there's a hot pack. Can pretty much guarantee a relic out of this one. Let's see who it's going to be. Relic time. It is going to be right after these parallels. It's going to be Fernando Tatis Jr. right there. Very, very nice. Fernando Tatis Jr. Game used jersey card. And that is a wrap for box number one. We have some silver packs before we officially put a bow tie on this first box. More Vito. Let's see if we can find for him in these. Sometimes you'll find autographs in here, maybe about one in every 20. Unfortunately, nothing in there. The Volpe is probably the best card from the silver packs. All right, so box number one in the books. We got four of these to do, so let's continue along. Moving on to the next one, it's for Kip. By the way, if you'd like to get your name on a card like Kip's name's on a card right there, participate in our live race, check us out on Patreon. Helps support the channel. Add the rest from Box Talk right there. And uh, also get you the ability to participate in all of our breaks and live streams and standalone videos. And higher tiers get monthly packs sent out. On the $26 tier and up. All right, so I don't know. The last box started really, really slow where there was nothing going on. Sometimes Tom's jumbo boxes will be collated exactly the same. So we have an Anthony Volpe right there with Michael Garcia. I think we might not see an autograph again until the very end of this box. We'll see for Kip. Bunch of base cards. I smell something burning right now, by the way. I think my daughter might be cooking something. Well, <laughs> I might have to go up and check on that. Braden Shoemake and Narcisco Cook right there. She made me pancakes last weekend, which was pretty awesome. They woke up, knocked on my door saying, hey, breakfast is ready. Pancakes from scratch. Yeah, it smells very, very strong. Something's cooking up there. There's Cole Reagans and a Nolan Gorman blue mini diamond. Let's see what else we have. Nothing going on there. On to our next pack. Still nothing at all. The whole left-hand side of these boxes is just kind of, you'll get a couple parallels, but there we go. They're switching it up nice. Keeping us on our toes. Vinny Pasquantino, who might be, I don't know, it's going to be interesting. He might win the Mullins O'Hearn Award of 2023. I know that Vinny Pasquantino is probably rooting for that award. It's a very dubious award. Basically, the Mullins O'Hearn Award goes to the player that signed the most cards across all the releases in 2023. And that Pasquantino is a very strong candidate for that. It comes from 2019. We used to rip cases like crazy for like eight, nine hours. And... There was just so many Ryan O'Hearn and um, Cedric Mullins autographs back then. And they were both pretty bad. There's a nice Don Mattingly. So bad that it was just like kind of like a joke. Like, oh, here's another Cedric Mullins 50 cent auto. And actually, Mullins was going to become an all-star. So it really worked out for him. He made us all eat crow, I guess. So I'm anxiously awaiting the Pops report. Pops Dyer puts together that list we have our next hit here it's going to be ezekiel tovar rookie jersey card right there and we'll see what else we've got nothing else in there so we've got all the hits the mattingly the pasquantino and the tovar so it's just all gonna be base cards we'll check it out and see if we can pull any parallels of note we have a dylan tate 
card, which is a silver foil and Garrett Crochet. Gold with some more base cards. I'm really excited for 2024. Just something different. I like the 2023 top design, by the way. I think it's a nice design. I like I really like the little photo insert of the player. I like the I like the logo. I thought they did a nice job with this design. But uh, man, 2024 is something totally different, and I, I love it as well. It's just really nice change of pace. There's a Patrick Corbin Black. Adley Rushman All-Star Game card in there, and here's the last pack of kits, box. As we continue to break on through number 26, what will come in at number 25 tomorrow? I've got an idea, and here's a Garrett Stubbs along with Chad Green. Chad Green is going to be numbered to 299, and that'll finish off this box. Here's those silver packs. We'll have eight silver packs by the time this video is done with all these jumbo boxes. I hope we can maybe pull one autograph, maybe at least one numbered card, right? And in this one, also, we're shut out from anything notable. No numbered cards, no autographs in that one. So, Kip, thank you very much. I would expect to maybe find one numbered card at some point in this video. Let's continue on now to make a little space here off to the right side for these extra cards. Nicholas Vitale is coming up next on this Saturday. Hope everyone's staying warm. It's pretty cold across the east coast, especially the northeast. We've got J-Rod, Box Topper, 88 Tops Big Design. And let's see what we have for Nicholas Vitale in our next box. All right, Nicholas, let's see what we've got coming up. We've got Francisco Alvarez. There's a Francisco Mejia. The Alvarez is a nice one. He's a good, good rookie in this class. Matt Mervis, nothing else going on. All right, Nicholas, on to the next pack. Let's see what we can find. Pack number two. One autograph per box. Is this going to have it? It's going to have, it looks like a black gold card's in here. It's going to be a nice one, too. Adley Rushman, good black gold card right there, along with a Donovan Solano red to 199 icy and Jose Leclerc from the World Series Champions in that next one. All right, next up for Nicholas. Usually I would probably just do like one or two boxes of this, but man, a lot of people wanted to uh, grab one, so we did four, almost a full case. We have Michael Harris coming up. Michael Harris, John Brebia. There's the Brebia, here's the Michael Harris. That is a silver foil card. And on to this next pack. Still looking for the auto. Let's see what we've got coming up in this one. Vinny Pasquantino. Oh, look at this. we got a heavy lumber insert card on the way. Very nice. Love these cards. It's a Matt Olson heavy lumber wood grain card. So literally the card has a wooden texture to it. Those cards are fantastic. Those are tough to pull too. We don't pull them all that often. I don't know what the odds are. Usually in the past, I just flip it over and find it on the wrapper, but they've taken all the odds off of the wrapper and put them online. Makes it really a little more of a pain to find. I don't feel like firing up my computer and going and searching and stuff. But those are tough to find. Matt Olson, heavy lumber. Here comes the hits now. Kyle Muller and Kyle Finnegan. And we have our relic right there. It's going to be the splendid splinter. Ted Williams. All right, next pack up. All together, 40 total packs in this video. And these usually sell at my local card store. They sell these packs for, I think, $25 a pack, which I think right now might be a little high. There's Marcus Semien, especially since box prices have dropped a bit. But I think that might just be an old price. They just haven't updated because they also have some really nice prices there as well. They got National Treasures for $500, which is $100 less than when it came out a couple weeks ago. They also have Bowman Draft Jumbos for less than 500, like 469 or something like that. There's Volpe Axe with Stars, Levi Stout, and Mitch Haniger in this next one. Nothing else in there. Two, actually three more packs. 
Who's the next autograph going to be? It's Jordan Walker once again. See a black gold card. Zach Eflin is going to be a parallel, probably a foil, either gold or rainbow. It's going to be a gold foil. Those aren't numbered. Bryce Harper black gold card. We'll still sleeve it up since it's a parallel. All right, autograph coming up in this pack, baby. Pack number nine. I think the first box had it in pack number nine. Maybe this one will have it as well. I think the last two of these packs here should both give us a hit. All right, let's see what we have. Johnny Brito in the leadoff spot. Here comes the autograph. It's going to be Hunter Gaddis. So Hunter Gaddis of the Cleveland Guardians. Not the biggest name, unfortunately. But we have one more hit for Nicholas. It's going to be a relic. And if we don't hit something good on your relic pack here, maybe you will finally find something for us in those silver packs. Typically, I mean, if we do enough silver packs, we're going to find some great stuff. All right, so we've got a Joey Ortiz black. That's pretty nice, number to 72. And Oscar Colas rookie relic is going to be the hit. All right, it's silver pack time. Let's see what we got going on there. As we finish off those base cards. So, in... Nicholas's sword packs. We actually have a parallel. It's going to be Yvonne Rodriguez, blue, number two, 150. Take that one. Ali Rashman, mojo, is a nice card. So, not too bad right there, Nicholas. You probably got the best sword packs so far of the three boxes open. And we've got one final one to do here. All right, Nicholas, thank you very much. Here we go. Last one. It is going to be for Tobias. All right, Tobias, last box here. Let's see what we can find on this Saturday afternoon. Can't believe January is two-thirds over. Got Showtime, Shohei Otani starting things off. All right, good luck, Tobias. We'll see what we can find here. Last pack, last box magic. We'll see. We start things off with the relic, so they're switching things up, putting the relic, which used to be in the last pack. Now it's in the first. It's going to be George Springer getting us going. It's a game-used bat. Now George Springer along with a Michael Harris, Topps Black Gold card. Not too bad right there. On to the next pack. Maybe this one will have the autograph in it. Maybe they're just inverting where the uh, hits fall. We've got... Grant Anderson, no autograph here. Jason DeLay, rookie card, number 272. It'll be interesting to see what the Pirates are going to do this year. Catching position, they've got Henry Davis there, who was drafted as a catcher. Number one overall pick in the whole country. But the Pirates are def def just definitely afraid of putting him behind the plate. He played a good bit of the season in the big leagues last year, and the Pirates only let him catch two innings. I guess he's just absolutely horrible behind the dish. And now, with the, the Pirates losing Andy Rodriguez for the year, Josh Young, that's uh, that's very interesting. What's going on with this, folks? Josh Young and George Springer, double relics. All right, that makes me nervous. So I like the fact that we got two relics there for Tobias. That's nice, an extra hit. That's awesome. I'm just worried that maybe is one of those going to replace your autograph. That would not be cool. Let's sure hope that's not the case. We'll find out here soon. We've got an icy orange of Brian Rocchio right there. And we'll see what else we can find. Hoping there's... I, you know what? I wouldn't mind if that replaces your manufactured relic. That's great if that's the case. But I'm hoping the autograph is there because the autograph is your... Uh, that's your upside. That's the big upside pull where you can pull a nice rookie auto. And here it is, Zach Neto. For my money, I think that might be the best autograph. Zach Neto. Apologies to the Blake Sable out of 25, but uh, I like Neto a little more than him. So Zach Neto, the last autograph, wouldn't that be cool if they screwed that up too and gave us a second autograph in addition to a second relic? I'm glad that Tobias got his three hits. Let's see if we can get another one for him. And he is going to get another one, and it's going to be numbered. It's going to be a Clayton Kershaw manufactured patch after the Brooks Rally and Edward Julian there we go, number two, 199. Not too bad right there. And now we just have four packs left in this 
countdown. Lots of lots, lots of boxes here. Let's see what else we have. There's Dylan Moore, Showtime, Shohei Otani, Colby Allard. Lots of parallels in these as you get those rainbows and lots of golds. Nothing else going on there. Three packs left. Let's see what we can do for Tobias in this next one. You got Andrew Benintendi right there, Jose Caballeros. Another numbered card. It's going to be an orange icy number to 299 rookie right there. Adley Rushman, All-Star Game rookie card. And now we're down to two left. And by the way, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you guys tuning into this series as we count down the days to 2024 tops. We'll also have our usual videos as well, like the Face Off Fridays and stuff, and the new releases, and Walmart videos. And here's a nice vintage stock card coming up. Riley Green to 99. Very nice. So vintage stock means it's printed on that old-style cardboard that they used to use back in, like, say, the 80s. And that's number 99. Great card right there. Last pack, then we'll do the silver packs, and we'll get on out of here for the rest of today. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Let's see what we've got coming up. Nothing too crazy. Miguel Amaya, rainbow foil. All right, let's check those silver packs out for Tobias. Here we go, pack number one. And pack number two, we'll do them at the same time. See if we can hit something nice. We do have a blue coming up. It's going to be Mason Miller, number to 150. So another numbered card. And unfortunately, no autograph in there. But there you have it. That's Tom's Update Jumbo Edition. I put that as the worst out of the three flagship releases. I mean, for Series 2, you've got, you've got Corbin Carroll in Series 2. You've got Jordan Walker. You've got Anthony Volpe. There's some nice rookies in there. For Series 1, you've got Adley Rushman, Gunnar Henderson, Michael Harris, etc. And uh, for this update series, as you saw, you got uh, got all those rookie debuts, which is nice, but the rookie class beyond that is kind of weak. Got like uh, Matt McClain, Grayson Rodriguez, and so on. So I've got uh, got this in last place, but it's still a fun rip. I think Jumbos are the way to go, so that's why I picked the Jumbos. We'll have more stuff to rip tomorrow as we get into number 25 of this countdown thank you very much for watching i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening and i will see you all tomorrow good night everybody